Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I am only gonna be using five items in my furniture makeover. Not only is it beginner friendly, but I'm using a piece that's not even real wood and I'm gonna accomplish it in under six hours. So if you wanna see this makeover, just keep watching. Here's the desk I'm gonna be working on today. I got this free from my neighbor. It was in their kid's room. This is not real wood, it's MDF or particle board. The finish on it is holding up really well, but we're gonna give this a more sophisticated look and get it nice and cleaned up. And the fun part about today's makeover is I'm gonna do this with just these items here. So I have a cleaner, sandpaper, my all-in-one paint, so I'm not gonna to need a top coat, a brush, and then new hardware. Today's video is sponsored by Dixie Bell Paint Company, and you know what that means. There's gonna be a $100 gift card giveaway to their website. Just make sure you're subscribed to me, to Dixie Bell's channel, and comment down below what furniture projects you're going to be working on this summer. I will put all those giveaway details in the description box and I will pin the winner's comment here next week. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the hardware and get this all cleaned up. As I showed you, I'm going to try to make this makeover as easy as possible using only five items and a new hardware is one of them to modernize this piece. I'm also going to remove this mirror to make it look more like a desk versus a vanity because I think you could use that in more places. My first item I'm gonna use is my Dixie Belle White Lightning Cleaner. This is a TSP soap that's in a powder form, so you can mix this up in a spray bottle like I have here, or you can use it in a bucket. You're just gonna apply this to your piece and then use a rag to wipe back any of that dirt, grime, dust. This thing was in a kid's room, so it is very well loved and pretty dirty. And once you have it all clean, you're just gonna take a clean rag and some clean water and rinse any residue away. Once the desk is dry, I'm gonna grab item number two, which is my fine sanding pad, and I'm gonna use this to get off all these marks that I couldn't get off when I was cleaning. Anywhere I saw ink or pen or marker, I scuffed that up a lot to get that off because that would come through your paint. So if you have anything like that, you definitely wanna get it off. And the next thing I'm gonna do with this is scuff up the entire piece because this is a factory finish, it's really shiny. So I wanna scuff that up to give my paint something to stick to. This is a 220 grit sandpaper pad. You could also just use regular sandpaper if you have that on hand. I really like using these pads because they come in a variety pack and they're really durable. You can wash them off, rinse them, and use them over and over again. This finish kicked up a lot of dust, so I'm just going in with a wet rag to wipe all that dust back before I start painting my piece. Okay, item number three is my paint. I'm gonna be using the Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint in the color Hampton Olive. And number four is my brush. I'm grabbing this Dixie Belle Scarlet Brush. This is one of their new brush offerings and I don't think I've shared it on my channel yet. And the reason I chose this paint for this specific makeover is because I've been dying to try this color because it's absolutely gorgeous, but this is a all-in-one paint. I've used this before on my channel and it has a built-in primer and top coat. So this is going to be a one-step paint. I'm just gonna do a few coats of this and my piece is gonna be done. So really great for a beginner and someone who's looking to not have to have a lot of items and a lot of brushes. So just to remind you, if you haven't seen my other videos where I work with Silk, Silk does not like water, so you're just gonna use this paint full strength. You're gonna use a dry synthetic brush. This Scarlet brush, uh, this is only my second time using it and I'm really enjoying it for a large flat surface like this because it gives you a lot of coverage and it's easier to get a flat surface done and keep it really smooth. Smooth. These bristles are dyed and baked and it makes them softer and more absorbent and you just get a really ultra smooth finish with this. So I wanted to show you, you can definitely do a whole piece with just one brush like this. Having a bunch of brushes in your arsenal is a nice thing to have for specialty applications if you need to get in really small areas or you just have a brush that you're more comfortable with using in different applications, but you can definitely get a project done with one brush. You just might have to be a little bit more careful, turn your brushes a couple of different ways, but you can definitely get it done with one brush. Well, 
like I mentioned, I'm really loving this brush for big flat surfaces like this. It gets it done quickly and nice and smooth. Unfortunately, this brush as of today, when I'm editing this video is currently sold out. I'm hoping they'll get it back in stock soon, but I wanted to show you another option of a brush you could use that is currently in stock. Hopefully it will still be in stock when this video goes because this is one of my favorite brushes. This is their angled mini. This is a synthetic brush and these are all handmade and they're packed out really nicely. And I like having the angle to get into details like this. So I'm going to just show in tandem using this um, angled mini as well as the scarlet brush. And hopefully when you're watching this video and if you want to buy one of those, at least one of them will be in stock for you. But I just wanted to show you the option of two different styles of brush on this piece. This paint dries down really quickly, so it's gonna help you do a makeover really fast. You can recoat in an hour to two hours, depending on your humidity and the temperature. This levels out really beautifully, and this time, this is my second time brushing it, I did a really, really thin coat on that first layer so that it would level out nice and smooth. And as I'm building up those other coats, it's just gonna help it stay smoother. So just don't glob that first coat on. That is something I've definitely learned the more that I work with this paint. And I'm gonna use the angled mini again just to show you that in action. And I just wanna reiterate, you only need one brush to do this makeover. I just wanna give you options in case one of these is sold out. If you're not familiar with this all-in-one paint, once it dries down and cures completely after 30 days, it's going to be low reflective finish, so like an eggshell finish, have a really good durability, it'll be washable, water, mildew, and grease resistant, and it also has some UV protectant in it. I did need to do three coats on this piece because I was going from white to a dark color. I think most of the time you're only going to need two coats, but I saw, you know, some of that white still coming through. So I wanted to add that third coat. And since I'm saving all that time by not having to top coat this, I don't mind doing that third coat. And I know these brushes are an investment. So is the cleaner, but these are things that you can reuse and reuse on makeover after makeover. And after three coats on this piece, I only used about six ounces of paint. So I still have a little over half my can left. And my last item, number five, is my new hardware. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I got five of them for $2 a piece because they were 50% off. So a very small investment for new hardware on this piece. Okay, so my five item makeover is complete. Can you believe I only used these items on this table for this makeover? Just to remind you, here's the little vanity we started off with. And here it is now, a sophisticated desk. I can't believe this is the same piece. And I can't believe I only used five items and I can't believe I did it in under six hours. I hope this encourages you that you can do a makeover with as few as five items and you can make over a piece that's not even real wood. Thanks for joining me for today's project. I handpicked some videos out just for you, so make sure you watch those before you leave. I will not be back next week. I'm taking Memorial Weekend off, but I will be back the following week with another furniture makeover for you guys, and I will see you next time.